So, what do Bo Jackson, Edger and James, Marshall Falk, Thurman Thomas, what do all these great NFL players have in common? They had less rushing yards in college football than my guest today. So pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let me serve you up this shot of top shelf college football content. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mouth and Air Nation? This is Coos. Welcome into another edition of Coos's Corner. I am proud to bring you this guest today, ladies and gentlemen. He is the leading rusher in West Virginia Mouth and Air football history and the Big East Conference history. None other than Mr. Avon Coborn. What's going on, Avon? I'm great, man. I'm great. There is one correction I got to give you. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and and I hate doing it, but I have to. Um, it's Coburn instead of Coborn. Um, and it, it's it's a mis it's a miscommon um, name, and, and a lot of people pronounce it that way. But um, but yeah, man, I am doing fantastic. Thank you for having me on the show um it, it's it's just it's a great day today absolutely uh, and i apologize for i'll be honest with you i i have been pronouncing it that way my entire life so i had no idea <laughs> you you, was, you ain't the only one you ain't the only one man i no apologize worries. for that man no worries boss no worries but, everything but, uh, but for those of you listening on the podcast on the audio only side uh, i've got his twitter handle at avon a-v-o-n coborn c-o-b-o-u-r-n-e and then, obviously, if you're watching it on the YouTube side, you can see it there on the screen. So I invite you to look him up on Twitter, interact with him. I'm sure he appreciates the interaction. And uh, he's got a lot of stuff going on in his own life right now, and I'm going to let him kind of uh, plug that right now and let us know where we can find him and what he has going on. So so I, pre- I appreciate that, Cool. So, again, um, my, my Twitter handle is um, at Avon Coburn. I mean, at Avon Coburn. Uh, you can catch me on Facebook at Avon Coburn Jr., and also at um, uh, Avon Deuces C. I got two pages. I, I, got, a, I got a bunch of people that that um, that um are tuned in. And then I don't do Twitter that much, but I think it's um, – I think uh, – not Twitter, I'm sorry, um, uh, Instagram. I think it's at um, Mr. Chillson um or at chill sun something like that I, I don't i don't do it that much so i don't know what it is but but yeah man it, it's been it's been great man god is good um busy as can be which is a blessing um if you guys don't know um you know i i, I live in charleston now uh with my wife um and four babies yeah i said four so we are we are super busy um and i got i got several things going on um as far as financial services if you need a mortgage Holla at me if you need um if you need a if you need education on the mortgage, holla at me. Right now the rates are terrible. If you need um some financial information as far as investments and insurance, holla at me. I got you. Um and um, you know, I, I I'm I'm doing I'm doing <clears throat> I have a podcast as well. It's not as pretty as this one. Um but Kuz, I, I like Kuz's corner, man. It's it's nice. You got it set up right. Oh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. And I just realized I mispronounced your name again in the introduction. It, it, I, it yeah. It, it's all good <laughs> oh man golly man i'm so sorry it just it's a habit i guess man um uh, you know it just rolls off of, i've been saying it for so long uh you and i are about the same age i think so man i you know i, I watch you uh play football and at west virginia and i just always pronounced it and it's hard to i'm gonna have to change my way of thinking on that man uh, no you're not the only one though i mean i i had i had to um correct uh a radio, another radio personality that um that did it. I mean, on air live. Cause I told him, I said, no, that's not my name. I'm sorry. Um, uh, we've, <laughs> we've been pronouncing it wrong. And, you know, me being a boy, um, you know, disrespected what, you know, what my, what my dad gave me. So, right. I get that. No I worries, understand. man. Oh, good. It's not, it's not a big deal for me. I mean, as long, as long as, as long as people can take the correction and, and, yeah. you know, understand, Hey, that's, that's not my name. I mean, we got, we, there, there's one thing in the English language that is the, the most important words, two people is their name so um right. here now it's all yeah. good okay cool well, i appreciate that man appreciate your courtesy there and uh but anyway let's dive right into the show uh what is your thoughts on the state of the program today at west virginia um uh it's just it's not a good it's not a good a good place right now i mean and and, and i mean social media makes it even worse than what it is because now the players can truly hear what the fans are saying. 
You know what I mean? And and again, once you hear it and once you once you buy into it, now it becomes gospel. So, um, you know, it in my opinion, it's not it's not as bad as people think and it's not as good as people think. You know what yeah. I mean? I, I never I never go all the way in on it because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what's going on inside. Um, I'm not there. So I can't say, you know, because you hear a lot of play, the players are not buying into what he's saying. I don't necessarily know if that's true. Um right. We're not we're not playing well at all right now, uh, but you know at the same time you know we do, do throughout his, his I'm talking Neil Brown now throughout his his career at WVU they have been a sporadic team you know they they'll mm -hmm. play good one week and they'll be trashed the next week mm -hmm. and you know him against Texas Tech I mean I don't think he's beat Texas Tech since no. he's been coach there so nope. uh, it's it's just been up and down up and down up and down and. and I mean, it's not good for the program, but at the same time, um, you know, we we can't. I, I'm I'm a fan, you know. I'm a fan. I'm I'm a, I'm a homer. I'm always gonna go with us, um, even even when we're down. Um, you know, on my on my podcast, you know, we talked about you know pick we picked. So I mean, I was I I started out saying, you know what, I just can't see us beating this team, but mm -hmm. you know, deep down inside, I can't I can't go against us. I mean, I'm not gonna bet no money on it, but I hear you. Yeah, I can't I can't go against yeah. us, man. Because there's something inside of us that can, it can it can switch at a, at a moment's notice, and we could take over any game. I mean, we got mm -hmm. talent just as good as is not. I wouldn't say that our talent isn't isn't the same level. Their offensive talent is is a much more superior than our defensive talent mm -hmm. um, in certain areas. So, <clears throat> but I mean, I think offensively we can play with anybody. Yeah, yeah, and that's you know and that's a fair statement, and that's I think that's one thing us fans are so frustrated about is we know. You know, looking back through history, West Virginia football when they've had when they've had bad years, the next year they were always you know a lot better. You know, they right. even the few times they were losing seasons, they win three or four games. The next year they'd win eight or nine. Right? Mm. It it happened through Neyland. It happened with Rich Rod. It happened with uh, well, Coach Stu never had a losing season, but yeah. it happened with Dana. Uh, Dana had one losing season. The next year he won seven or eight games. So right. we're not used to having now. You know, we're not used to having this many seasons of either bad or mediocre play. Right. And, and it's unacceptable. It's, yeah. it's absolutely unacceptable. And uh, so, I, you know, it's just it's baffling. And like you said, you know, none of us are in the locker room. And I've been guilty of, you know, getting on social media and saying things that I probably shouldn't uh, because I get emotional. And sometimes we, you know, we, we've hit that send button but without giving it a lot of thought. But And I'm guilty of it, uh, I'll admit. But. Uh, but yes, yeah, something what something's got to change there. Whatever it is, we, you know, I don't know. The only people that do know are the people in the locker room, I guess, right? Uh, or in the program. But uh, I got a feeling there's going to be some major changes if if things don't turn around this season. I got a feeling after the season there'll be some major changes. I mean, they 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 should have fired that defensive coordinator like week two. They should have <laughs> fired him. Like he should have been he yeah. should have been gone after that. We should have. And again, I, I'm. I don't I don't say things that I don't truly feel is correct. Like that defensive coordinator is not on the level of where we need to be West Virginia football wise. Um he's not preparing them. Uh I, I don't care. I don't care who it is. You run the same defense every every play. You run the play that, that you know your players can 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 make yeah. and just run that. Don't do anything else. But I, I just don't think I don't think he's good enough to be yeah. a part of you know Mountaineer Nation, and yeah. um, you know he has that opportunity. And um, they they always say you know your friends that get you fired, um, and uh, you know that's yeah, one of yeah. his friends he brought him he brought him up, and uh, that that's just that shouldn't happen. Well, he's there's somebody on the staff right now today who's been there, who's done it, and who could probably turn that defense around. Jeff Castile, a hundred percent. He's right. I mean, but he's already in the building. They, they, they won't, they won't give it to him though. I mean, and 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 the philosophy. I mean, again, the mindset is everything for me. Um, if if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. Mm -hmm. And Coach Castile is a think you can. I mean, where's yeah. I'm having in here, but I, I read the book to my son every day. The little engine that could, mm -hmm. um, because and and if you think you can, you you will do it. But if you think you can't. And Coach Castillo is the guy that thinks he can and and knows he can. He ha he has success doing it. So we we need it. We definitely need a change, man. We need a change, especially on defense, um, because we're we're bad, man. Yeah, yeah, it's baffling. I just uh, I bought the, I drank the Kool Aid, man, all off season. I heard them say 
this could be the best defense we've had since we've been here. We're faster, we're more talented, we're longer. And I, so far, none of that has come to fruition. So, yeah, yeah. But it's, anyway. it's, 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 um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't. And again, it all, it all starts at the top. And when I say the top, I'm talking Shane Lyons. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got to write the ship. And I, yep. I believe that, I believe that he can. Um, he'll, he'll, you know, he'll put pressure. I mean, you have to, you, you have to take responsibility for what you're producing. And right. again, start, it starts with him. You know, because he's he's the guy ultimately that that you know doubled down on his guy. So, and and, and I believe I believe he can. So, yeah. um, that's one of the things that that I believe in. I believe that leadership is is it starts at the top and then it filters down. And right. and you know, it's one of those things that that it's 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 always pointed to to the head coach but it it always goes up another level and he's got to put pressure to make sure things get things get changed around right. and i know one more time avon please go ahead and plug yourself again let them know where to find you i'll leave a link by the way to your your podcast in the description of the video but go ahead and tell them where they can find you oh, so um facebook I'm, I'm on facebook more often than not um uh avon coburn jr you can find me on on facebook or avon deuce c um uh, on Facebook, on uh, Twitter. Again, you see the Twitter handle at, uh, at Avon Coburn. Um, and then uh, my Instagram, I have two pages. Um, I just realized I have two pages. One is, um, I think one is Avon Coburn and one is uh, Mr. Chilson. Um, yeah, so check that out, man. Check it out. Follow me. Um, and if if uh, there's anything I can help you with, you know, don't hesitate to reach out. Appreciate that. Oh, r- real quick, I, I, I meant to ask you this earlier. I know we're over an hour, but you could this should be quick. The Mr. Chill son, because mm-hmm. I know you've got, there's a segment on your podcast called Mr. Chill son. Can you yeah. educate me and my listeners on where that came from? So, yeah. Um, so in, in college, uh, I don't know if I had, I think my, my brother stole my mouthpiece, but in college I would, um, I wrote chill son on my mouthpiece. Okay. And then, um, I, uh, I, uh, I just, it was just my logo. I mean, I just, I, I took it and, and I trademarked it and now, okay. Now it's you know it's my my logo so um, I don't know if I have it around um, anywhere but um, I, that's just my logo now Mr. Chills oh I got a couple shirts over there oh, okay um, cool okay that's, that's yeah I, I, I was mean, just curious the origin of that yeah so so here here's my logo so chill son ah uh, okay football um, gotcha. Shout out to my my boy, um, former former player, Arondo Aronde Cox. He designed this for me. Um, so yeah, chill, son. If 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 you guys, you know, all of my most of my pictures that you see on the internet, all my cards have the chill, son, uh, written on there. And then I just I just took it and trademarked it. Okay, cool. That was very that was very smart of you to do that. But you are a mar- you're a marketing and sales guy, so uh, absolutely. Uh, Listen, everybody, once again, I hope you enjoyed our conversation here. Uh, don't forget to support Avon and whatever he's doing, whether it's his podcast. You know, if you want to talk about investments, insurance, any of that stuff, he'll help you out. So check him out on that. I'm sure he'd love to interact with you about that stuff on Twitter or, or Facebook, probably, preferably. So so check him out there. Uh, maybe he can help you out in, in, in whatever it is you're doing uh, to put money away for your future or whatever it is you need to do. So, uh once again, everybody, thanks again for hopping on. Thanks to Avon for coming on. And uh, as always, I got to end with this. Q Country Roads.